then join the team. Oh, without a bit of Hello. Hello. All right. Uh, just making sure everything's good to go. Uh, looks like it. Just, uh, just tell us when we can scream it for like two, ten minutes. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, uh, a few things before we uh, start uh, today. Um, for one, why am, why are we streaming Wednesday instead of uh, you know? Uh, Thursday, uh, so Saturday for 13 Sentinels. Uh, mainly because, uh, one, we have, uh, well, well, I have my vaccine shot happening Saturday, and if you have, uh, had it yet, you know that you're kind of out of commission after you get one, so, uh, since we weren't doing anything Thursday, uh, anyway, uh, I wanted to do Wednesday, that. You mean? Uh, yeah, Friday, Saturday, I'm getting my days mixed up, but... Then the other thing, I I don't want to start this stream without breaking up the elephant in the room that is the TGS collection coming out. So can we go now? Can yep, you, go? Can, you can, can go, go, you can go. It's finally happening! <laughs> it's finally here! Performing for you. <laughs> they say we were crazy! They said that we were losing! We are! We'll we are. That, that, that this was never going to be a thing. And we, we all are. believed it. But we were all proven wrong. We're getting a DGS game over in the West. Okay. We're getting both of them. Uh. Finally. And that's just, oh, we just transferred the whole game that's it. No, we're getting all the extra content that they also released. It's, just, it's, it's finally happening. Uh -huh. I can finally I can finally actually play these games instead of watching it on my, on my computer screen. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Herlock Sholmes, baby! Mm -hmm. So, uh, in, our, in our group, this is kind of a big deal that this is actually... I'm, I'm still honestly shocked that this game is actually getting localized. After playing it myself, like, how? <laughs> honestly, on this one. I can't uh, wait to wake up tomorrow and someone wake me up. What's, what's that? The Great Shunner Chronicles localization? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think another ironic uh, great timing. I think another great ironic timing for that is Little Karibo started his stream series of the first game, and for most of the franchise start starting a couple weeks ago. So when he announced this the stream for today, it's like, well, this is very relevant news. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people are doing Gates of Thirty streams like the past few weeks. I've been noticing, and it's just kind of neat timing on that. Coincident timing. Uh, I think it was uh, Little Karibo's partner wanted to play them. Uh, I hadn't played any yet, so ah. he was just like, well, I've only played the first two, so, yeah. Brandon, I'm fucking happy that's not a thing. <laughs> I'll put that. Dude, I'll, I'll I like it as a joke, but as a reality, no, fuck I, that I'm, shit. I, I'm pretty happy. I, I'm honestly surprised that they kept the Japanese names and stuff like that. I'm very happy, thankful that they are and stuff like yeah. that, but, um, so, Can, I I know the, 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 the 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 big thing is DGS two because that's going to be available this summer now at this point. So we're going to play that I, shit. I'm rearranging my plans, kind of thing. So the, the the plan is right now is that the like either day or weekend that this collection becomes available, we're gonna go show off all the extra content that was in DGS one uh, that's in that collection. Uh, then on my off time. I'm going to be playing, replaying through DGS1 on my own to one see the uh, new translation, stuff like that, and re-familiarize myself with the game. And then when I'm done with that, we will head into DGS2 straight after. I'll be trying to plow, power through the game as fast as I possibly can on that. So. Yep. Yeah, you're right. Uh, name I cannot pronounce it really same day as the one that's with you. Goddamn. God. Like July. Yeah. It's gonna be packed. <laughs> yeah, it's like. We got that, and then uh, we got the Famicom uh, Detective uh, games coming out. And visual novel fans are eating good. This. Yeah. So I, I think that the most interesting thing about this collection, and this is only interesting if you experience at least DGS one uh, v um, through the fan translation, is that um, because like, okay, like the thing is the fan translation of DGS one at least to at least, at least to me, is a very, very good. Tr it's like a very good translation. On the nose. Yeah. But, yeah, like, cause like, uh, play, like, play, like, play slash watching through, um, slash wa watching through, um, that game, 
game with that translation. It's still nothing ever felt out of place. It's still like, yeah, this is an English Ace, Ace Attorney game. So it will it will be very interesting to see the how what the similar or different choices that each of the translations like make like like uh made. Yeah. Like one of the translations thing that they that immediately right off the bat is how they chose to translate Naruto's objection. Well, yeah, like uh, specifically, specifically. The Surya. Yeah. yeah, I mean that that is a way to pronounce hi, so it makes sense, I guess. Yeah, Sir well, was just what they chose to turn it into. Yeah, yeah. it just well, it just well, it just um, one of those things that there are multiple ways to trans to translate what he says. Yeah, and, yeah. Also, we got the best fucking Ace Attorney armor ever with that new cover. Dude, Holy I shit. love this artwork, <laughs> man. It looks incredible. Like this. they just continually evolved like the artwork for each for each DGS game, built it off the other. Yeah, so, <laughs> that's fucking awesome. Yeah. So don't be surprised if this is what we talk about for a long time. And like I, I know I like wasn't too hot on dgs1 admittedly but I, i'm looking to what see is, if the if the really? revisit changes my mind on that and i have a feeling i'm gonna like dgs2 a lot more i, I got a feeling <laughs> on that so awesome yo my tweet got 100 likes let's go but the <laughs> <is> awesome <laughs> Free clout, let's go. Um, <laughs> <My> time is down. <laughs> anyway, one Brandon, I think Scarlet Studies is still gonna do their thing. They're still gonna do it. The They're still gonna they only yeah. got four two chapters left to do, uh, do Yeah. It. Yeah. And two the the interesting thing about the English cast for this is that they were that most of these are, are in London, but more specifically the like Ryu, Suzuto, and I think Asogi are are Japanese people located in, in Britain. So they actually yeah. got Got it. Got it to pronounce it, which good effort which, on that. Yeah, most of the dub is pretty good. I warmed up to Naruhodo's VA. I just don't think he gets the exact punch I, for his objective. I need to hear yeah. more uh, lines from them to get like a feel uh, kind of deal. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But like, well, yeah. like I'll play through uh, DGS one in uh, with the English voices on to get a feel, and then depending on how I feel by the end of that, will determine do well, I have to. Uh, English or Japanese voices on for also uh, mystery DGS man. Uh, it's abbreviated as DGS because Daikakuten and Saibon is the Japanese name for the yeah. games. That's, That's get... basically why it's called DGS. Yeah. We're probably still going to be calling it that <laughs> well after. This I know it's going to be hard to shake off. Like I'll bring up DGS, a person who doesn't who has only played the who only knows about the English version. Like what the fuck are you talking about? Because <laughs> GS GSA doesn't quite roll off the tongue as well. <laughs> GGAA does not work as well. I only call it DG. DGA. I call it DG. I call it DGS because of you. <laughs> yeah, it's my fault. It's, it's 100 percent because of you. Because 100 <laughs> percent. Okay. <laughs> you made me do this. <laughs> Whenever you were talking about the Great Age Attorney, you were always. It's the quickest DGS, way to say DGS, it. It's DGS. the quickest way. Yes. Yeah. So I just, I, I, I just use. So I just also just say um, DGS, and also play alternate. I also say uh, the Great. Um, it's a, um, the great Ace yeah, Attorney. Yeah, yeah. So I do, yeah. So I do um, um, all today. The interesting thing ab um, about this collection is simply the fact that now there's only one more. There's only one game left. That's that has so to be weird. Has been, that's um, that's so weird. Investigation Two is the only one that's not the only Ace Attorney game that's stuck in Japan at this point. That that yeah. feels weird. <laughs> like a kind of deal. <laughs> Yeah, it's so it's so strange that day. That one just is screwed over now. <laughs> now just just wait for that one. Although the thing is, it, it that one doesn't feel as harsh as DGS, just because um just because it is easier for people to get their hands on Investigations Two and play it and patch in the and patch in the um the fan translation. It's about as easy to patch as Mother Three, basically. Yeah, yeah. it's easier to patch that than it is to patch the day than it is to patch um. DGS. Yeah, because yeah. that's 3DS, 3DS for games. Yeah, much yeah, harder. Yeah. Running, running, getting Citra all up and running's a lot harder to do, so you can't go, go out of your way for that. <laughs> so. And also, you have more of a way to actually play on the 3DS. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we're, we're very excited for <laughs> this uh, upcoming. Um, so, yeah, just wanted to address that right out of the gate, because, 
Yeah. <laughs> because listen, how Twitter was up? my twilight was blowing up with this shit. <laughs> how uh, like how can how, how can we how can this specific group of people not talk about that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, ooh, all right. Um. So. Oh yeah, thirteen seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so. <laughs> Uh, oh, okay, time for me to get lunch. <laughs> oh, boy. Christ. There he goes. Uh, so, last time, uh, we finished up Iori, and then we marathoned through the entirety of Ryoko at that point. Uh, oh, I, oh, I missed the stream then. I missed the 13th of the stream. It, was, this the, like, was this on Saturday? Yeah, it was on Saturday. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. I had the Midnight Chef that. I had the, uh, the Midnight Chef that, okay. um, that day. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll say, uh, for Jason, uh, protect Ryoko at all costs. <laughs> God, <damn. laughs> um, the other thing I did, um, I, I already mentioned that I went back and, uh, got all s ranks and stuff like that, but I did add in a few, uh, extra skills, like, uh, score boosts and stuff like that, and then, uh, for our uh -huh. interceptors and, uh, sentry guns, I have them completely maxed out on every character now at this point, so. Yikes. If we weren't breaking this game enough to begin with, uh, the, the, we, we are, we are full-time breaking it now. Well, did you also, <laughs> did you also get, like, mo all, all the characters, um, I forget what, I think it's called Hyperdrive? I don't think it's, so. It's, it's the pad... The passive ability is the passive ability that allows you to do an extra thing with what is what are their um, other skills. I don't think I have on that yet. Uh, so I know I I know Neji has one. I know Jiro has one. Ryoko has one. Uh, I believe uh, Glasses Boy has one. Uh, Goto, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, I, I believe yeah, Goto has one. Uh. I think. Oh, I think I, I did kind of run out of points on that uh, of like maxing everybody out, so we'll have to wait a little bit anyway. So. Well, you have like you have like score and chips to max out. So now that those two max out, pretty much, when you go back, as as long as you keep getting S rays, you do fine. You will you will get all of it. Well, as long as you do uh, do like the extra like um the bonus um objectives. You will get all of. You'll be able to get enough points to buy all of the mystery files, mm. and then after that, whatever extra points you get would just be trans. Would just would just be translated into chips. All right. Uh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh. Brandon's asking uh to do uh Hijiyama. Okay. How far into Hijiyama's story is this Destroyer of Worlds event? Uh. Far. Okay. That we're we're gonna wait on that, Brandon. Uh. At this point. Uh. So. Now, uh, I'm thinking we're gonna first wrap up, uh, Jiro's, uh, storyline. Then we can finish up, um, uh, Megami. And then we can probably start on, uh, like, e probably yeah. A's oh, or, uh, Ajima's, uh, at that point. So, yeah. Yeah, I feel this is appropriate to do Jiro's now. All right. <laughs> What's weird about Ryoko's story real quick is that I think it's the only story with an actual gameplay gimmick. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So that I, one I, video. I, I <laughs> okay. Also, Testudi can die in a fire. It's tough to get a hold of these days. Hey, Jiro, let's go home. Feels weird, honestly. Play what? Oh yeah, oh. almost forgot. <laughs> did, did was that a glitch? Oh no, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I slipped on a banana peel. I beat the game, so now we can hang out, you and me. Where do you want to go? That one video. Wow, you're being thoughtful for once. Still available for rent? Probably. Want to go check? Uh, check out the video, sorry. Okay, cool. Don't forget your bag. Hopefully no one's checked it out. Uh, I wanted to grab my bag. Thank you. Head out. <sighs> Onwards. We're out of luck, man. Video store's closed. By the looks of it, I don't think it'll be reopening anytime soon. The windows were completely shattered. Oops. It must have been part of that big gas explosion. Oh, <laughs> I saw that on TV. Mm. That was our video store? 
There was a gas leak in the shopping district. The explosion damaged buildings and shattered windows. I heard about it on the 7 a.m. news. So what do we do? Just go home disappointed? We don't have much of a choice. Oh! Oh, Mirakun. What are you doing here? I followed you after school. Is... something wrong? Tell me the truth, please. You don't need to play innocent. Uh-oh. You are a Sentinel pilot. How did you activate it? Sentinel? What is that? Are you telling me you've forgotten? It just happened the other day, right here. All right, now your boys are, is officially here with chili dogs. <laughs> you mean the gas explosion? I heard about it, but... That wasn't a gas explosion. It was you. You transmitted your Sentinel right over there. Transmitted? You talking about movies? I think I saw that one. Oh, yeah. Now that you mention it, that did happen in one of the tapes you let me borrow. Jurokun. Who are you talking to? This is one of my classmates. His name is Kyuta Shiba. <sighs> Where is he? What? Shiba-kun? He's right next to us. Sorry, but it's just you and me here. <laughs> Come on, Mirakun. Wait. <laughs> I think this has happened before. Um. <laughs> Wait. So, did you check out that video I lent you? Sure, not gonna time loop. Yep. But... Watch the holes. I forgot to bring the tape back. No, this is an interaction that you actually already had in um. Oh, okay. In another, in another story. Uh, so now you just seen it from his side. I guess he ended up becoming a criminal himself. Not sure how to feel about it. I think it's pretty controversial. Oh yeah? I thought the ending was awesome. <laughs> Tell he's like, bruh. Hey, um, why do you keep talking to yourself? Is everything okay? I'm not talking to myself. Then who are you talking to? Oh, yeah. I was talking to Shiba Kun. Shiba? Who the heck is that? You know, Kyuta Shiba. Our classmate? There's no one with that name in our class. Huh? Hmm. Hey, Kurabi-kun? I know. The papers, right? I'll get them later. Listen, Kisaragi-san's acting strange. She's saying there's no one named Shiba-kun in our class. Shiba? Um... Who? I'm not He's... trying to think. In, in any other character's story, was he in the, cla right the actual class itself? Mm. So now you pay attention to that. <laughs> oh, oh, God. <gasps> <laughs> the problem is, I think we finished everybody's story that was in this class. So, like, uh, okay, here's, okay. The biggest hint, if you, if since, since you waited this, since you waited this long for Jiro, the biggest hint you get to this is actually a shoe story. Ah. Because there is one scene that happens in shoe story that you that you experience as Jiro. Do you, do, you, do, you, do you remember the scene? I don't remember which one. We went over Shu's house to play video games. Yeah. Remember that scene for, Ju for Joe's perspective and that same scene for Shu's perspective. Let's go. Shiba Kun. What's your deal? Let's get going already. Tommy is silently judging you. <laughs> we grew up together, right? Well, yeah. We've been best buds since grade school. What's gotten into you? Something's just not right. You're taking their joke way too seriously. It is strange, though. Uh-oh. You're taking their joke... It is str... Oh! You know what? Never mind. I have to walk over to the top point and think about him. <laughs> I can't think about him next to him. I must walk over to the other side of the classroom. I, I still think of him gay, gay, homosexual, gay. <laughs> <laughs> Megami who? 
How far are you, Mega Man Story again? Um, uh, we're locked down for final event. Memories of our time together. Yeah. Oh, oh. We're close to answering a question that you asked at the very beginning, at the very, at the in the first, in the first stream. Wait, excuse me. Wait, what? Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Guess I overdid with the mind hacky. What? Okay. Here, take this tape. With you. Uh... <laughs> Why well, we get flashback lights now? Hold up. <laughs> You're saying that my movie going tendencies was a <laughs> a weakness? <laughs> He's Shibakun is. <sighs> I'm the only one who can see him. Well, I can't be letting anyone else in on our little secret. I gotta get my shit together. When I'm not careful, I blow my cover. Who are you? Artificial personality. 48Q. Codename QTA CBA. In other words, Qta Shiba. I know, it's a bit of a stretch. But I had to come up with something that suited you. You get along well with this kind of guy, right? Yuta? There's no use running. It's too late for that. I've already filled your head with transplanted memories. They're running all around in there. Act. Right? Wait. Oh, but don't worry. No, hold on. Okay, now. <laughs> okay. No, I feel. I feel like I'm going crazy. Did Did his design change in between? Because like I'm noticing Oosh. now the hair is completely different. Just like. Fine. Transplanted memories. Yep. Mine. Calm yourself. There's no one here. But he's right there in front of me. You would have been better off not knowing any of this. What a shame. So those movies were... Shiba Kun's memories. Shiba's? No. My real name is Juro Izumi. Ah. Oh. Remember this anyway. So chill out. Unless you want to look like a crazy person. All right, my friend. I've got a new video for you. Oh shit! Just forget about the world for a bit. This is gonna be a snuff Watch film, this. is it? <laughs> You're gonna love it. It'll wipe your mind clean as a whistle. No, stop, Jerukun. Floyd Beach TV, just stay fan. <laughs> okay, so um, like I said, the biggest hit is actually a shoe story. We would always have to play video games. The first time, the first time we see that scene is in Jiro's story. Where, Actually, he uh, can check it right now. If he, yeah, if yeah. If you go over to Jiro's and go over to that scene, you will see Shiba standing, sitting in front of the TV, playing like uh, playing the uh, the NES. No, but uh, now if you check that scene again for Shu's perspective, Shiba is not there. Okay, yeah, because I was also thinking, yeah, because yeah, Shu's store, uh, Shu's hair is entirely different in this scene. So, yeah. <laughs> Another scene that another scene that the, another scene that provides a hint to this, you actually um, run into a Tommy a Tommy story, where um, at one point it's told me you you had to you did this you walked up you walked up to um, to Jiro, and Tommy made a statement of how Jiro's talking to himself in the corner again. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let me see the scene where the video game went. Okay. I just I just want to see this one real fast. So yeah. It's already seven o'clock. Mm-hmm. I, I can't see. <laughs> yeah, cause his hair, his hair. I don't think it's the same in this one. Uh. I think I think you just saw a different portrait. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, no, okay. You know what? You said you wanted. <laughs> Yeah, Thanks. you know, I didn't even. I can't see. I, I didn't even think that Ben Diskin was voicing the two of them, kind of deal. Like that, that threw me off at all. You know, kind of. Wait up! Hang on. <laughs> another, another hint that I guess the game kind of throws out to you. But this is what you really have to pay attention to. It's the fact that Jill's that the Jill's the only one that actually acknowledge, ex acknowledges him. Nobody else acknowledges she acknowledges Shiba's existence at all mm -hmm. throughout the whole game until that point. Yeah, she was isn't voiced by Ben Diskin. Oh, okay. 
And so, that, and, and, and so now that you figured that out, here comes a here here comes Jiro's unique Jiro. gameplay What's gimmick. <laughs> Look at him, he's so he, pissed. He, <laughs> Kill every last one of them! <laughs> <laughs> fuck, yeah, that's right. Him. Fuck you, Biako. God, God damn it. <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> ah! <laughs> you just start throwing shit all over. I think... I think you gotta go uh, through the, I... speed, his, the thought bubbles. Oh, yeah. What? Yeah, you gotta talk to Shiba, then grab your bag. Another nightmare or something? Ugh. I'm not stupid. I know I'm the only one who can see you. Fuck you! <laughs> it's fucking dynamic. I'm singing on screen right here. Bitch! I can't believe my best. Can't believe my best friend was actually alive this whole time. I think the one you actually want to think about is Huta. Yeah. <laughs> it seems his goal is to turn me back into Juro Izumi. <laughs> this, this part is radiating very much Hajime Nagito vibes with him oh, smiling. No. <laughs> and then I'm just like, oh god. <laughs> okay, I think right. I think you gotta gotta triangle him. There we go. What exactly are you? 48Q. QTA? CBA. I already told you, I'm an artificial personality. That doesn't mean anything to me. Hmm. Then why don't you watch this video and relax? I'm not watching it. <laughs> you I just want him to just like slap the tape off his hand. <laughs> why did you give me how I make a how I make a whole sound and nobody hears it? To turn me hmm. back into him? It's the sound of one hand clapping. You were never meant to be this way in the first place. Uh, what is that supposed to mean? Okay, Patrick, pause it. Okay, so now you're gonna be okay. So now this is the introduction to Jiro's um, unique thing, where now, um, where now you actually had to be mindful of which route you go down, no. because if you're not quick enough, Shiva will pop up next to Jiro and uh, wipe his memory, and you will restart back at that checkpoint in the classroom. Okay. So oh, you oh, there he goes. <laughs> Okay, so now you are so now you have a chase section. Alright, uh okay. Get the fuck out. Hey, watch it. No. Running won't change a thing. Think, think. Who might know something about this? Fuyasaka san's absent. What about Yakushiji? Oh, yeah, yeah. Not here. Are you looking for someone? Who... Yo, Kurabe. Sure am. Tell me Kisaragi. Got a clue where she went? No. Running won't. Okay, so I gotta, <laughs> I gotta <laughs> think about them. Yeah. Who would know something? Is she really on my side? She wants to change me back into Juro Izumi. Can I trust her? Fuyasaka-san's out today, but I feel like. She okay, might know something about all this. Door. Maybe I could ask Amiguchi kun. On the other hand, it's getting late. He's probably gone home already. Shinonome senpai. She knows about Juro Izumi for sure. I should go talk to her. Hopefully, she's at the nurse's office. <laughs> to the trauma girl! Yeah! To trauma center! Another Atlas property. <laughs> Shinonome senpai, please wake up. <sighs> Izumi kun. No. Don't you remember? I'm Juro Kurabe. Kurabe. Please help me. <sighs> no. <laughs> nah. It's Shiba kun. No. Placing them with Juro Izumi's. Izumi guns? That's odd. According to Morimura, his memories were lost for good. 
Miss Morimura? Our teacher? What does she have to do with this? I'm talking about Shiba-kun. Who is Shiba-kun? Q Tashiba. He called himself Personality 48Q. I'm the only one who can see him. I'm sorry. I don't know anything about that. <laughs> Jiro, I'm going to be honest, that sounds like a, a lot of nonsense. <laughs> Wait, I'm not... Well, if Izumi-kun's memories were transplanted into you, does that mean you know about his past? I saw it all in the form of dreams and movies. What happened in them? In order to prevent the apocalypse, Fuyasaka-san and I went back to the past. We bombed the facility that was said to be the source of it all. But the police caught us, and we ended up in a shootout. With Iori Fuyusaka? This is all news to me. What memories do you have of your dreams? He disguised it all as a Terminator. <laughs> uh... There you go. The city was in ruins. I went around killing students, one by one. I wouldn't let any of them get away. Among the dead, I saw people I knew, like Fuyusaka-san and Yakushiji. Izumi-kun did that? It can't be. There's no way he would do such a thing. I forgot to mention, Shiba-kun gives me memories on videotape. Videotape? Fuyasaka-san told me they're all real events from the future. Like what? If I recall correctly, we were in a big UFO. Except it's not the future. <laughs> it's just big, but big version of you they put into tiny Bob, little boy Bobby. <laughs> boy. Okay, so at least for me, this is where I guess the time travel aspect gets a little bit the confusing. Right the of the even, even like, like uh, no even with the um, the list in front of me. The year was 1985. Is that a flyer from a movie theater? Logs indicated shut down sometime in the Heisei era, but at the time I visited, it was right there in Tsutsuji Ward. So Sector 4 is in 1985, and Sector 3 is in 2025. That's another 40-year gap. This machine only lets us travel to specific time periods, all of which are under attack by the invaders. Why are they showing up in the past? <sighs> I have <laughs> Because they want to play the video games that suck butt. Mm -hmm. What do you think, tsukasa -kun? We have no record of such an invasion occurring back then. If that's the case, it's inconsistent with history as we know it. You're right. It was just last year that we were invaded. The year 2104. That was the first and only time. If there were a kaiju attack prior to that, we would have known about it. We must be dealing with a time paradox. Ha! <laughs> Except <laughs> we aren't. <laughs> it could have caused reality to split. I mean, what's we dealing with Atlas nonsense? <laughs> that's far more likely. <laughs> While this device does appear to be a time machine, it may be premature to make such assumptions. <sighs> An earthquake. A big one. Something feels weird about it. This is bad. What's wrong? The countdown. It's reached zero. It's time. Look at this! <laughs> We're rapidly losing contact with zones of the UFO. The very Earth's crust is crumbling. This is an unprecedented disaster. Several areas now report an elevation of below sea level. Is it sinking into the ocean? At this rate, we'll be going down too. So this is what the countdown was for. It may not be possible to survive this. We have no choice. We must seek refuge in the past. What? Get in the 
transmitter. Are you serious? If we do that, we might not ever come back. And if we stay here, we die. This will need a timer. When it's all set, I'll join you. Please, get to the device. All right. If you're setting our destination coordinates, let me suggest Samire Bridge. Amidst the destruction I saw earlier, that bridge was still standing. You heard him. Let's get in. Okino-kun! Is something wrong? It's not letting me select any sectors. I don't understand. My commands aren't working. I need to find a time it'll let us travel to. Stay in the device. Just hurry. Chihiro. I saw the signs in town. We're in 2089 now. We traveled 16 years back in time. I see. So that's why. Look over there. Across the river. It hasn't been redeveloped yet. No wonder Century Tower isn't there. It wasn't built until 2100. It'll be over 10 years from now before it goes up again. There's no point in waiting any longer. Let's go. Sukasa-kun... ...isn't coming back. Look! Even the Shikishima State Building is missing. We have to go! Do you plan on standing here forever? We can't just leave him! You agree with me, right? <sighs> in this era... You and I are still newborns. Even your own mother wouldn't recognize you. Our citizen ID won't be valid here either. We can't purchase anything or use public services. The city may look familiar, but this is the world of 16 years ago. To us, it might as well be a foreign country. But we can't go back. We have no choice but to figure something out. What are we going to do? The invasion's going to happen again in 15 years. We need to warn everyone about it. Will they even believe us? All we can do is try. And if they don't... <sighs> we'll take matters into our own hands. No one else knows what's coming. It has to be us. Let's figure out how to get back to the UFO. It should still be buried underground. If we can find it, then... <sighs> I get it now. We can save Okinokun. All we need to do is travel through time again. I can't say it's impossible. But if we're ever going to do that, we need to make it through today. Let's find ourselves some food and a place to sleep. You're right. Shall we? From there, the two of us spent the next few years together, living in society's shadows. Stay away from me. Six feet. <laughs> that incident you just described, it's not one of your lost memories. If it involved rewinding time 16 years with Morimura, then it must have been him. Who? I think I know who. He's a time traveler. He's gone back in time over and over again. A time traveler? That's crazy. The memories you've been seeing are his. But... His name is Juro Izumi. Does that mean he's me from the future? No. It's a different Juro Izumi. One who came from a lost world. Stay back. I was told he's incredibly dangerous. So that means my dreams are memories of a lost world? And Shibakun 
Is that world's Jiro Izumi? That man has nothing but his consciousness left. He transferred himself into an android and fled. His consciousness? <laughs> oh my. Looks like Senpai isn't feeling so good. Shibakun! Man, you've sure got a big mouth. Stop this! Oh, come on! Ryoko Shinonomi is a freaking weirdo. If you really want to take her word for it, you'll have to face the consequences. Yeah. And that's one part. That's one part of it. Um. Huh? Like. Okay. I'm. I'm kind of confused on that one because it's like. Okay, are they saying, like, now there's, like, not only of just the quote-unquote time travel that's actually just the different sectors, but now, like, alternate dimensions of them? What? Uh... Okay. I, I, I don't know if I can I think I can, I know what's going on. I don't know if I could describe it perfectly right now. Hmm. I don't really think there's a way to describe it without spoiling what the th what, what is actually happening. Okay. Yeah. All right. So just get going. Right. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure you know what Ryoko, who Ryoko's talking about. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you know who Ryoko's talking about, they have, they have a pretty good idea who Shiba is. Oh yeah. <laughs> He's okay. 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 He just he just does does that. <laughs> I still want to know what manga he's reading. Hmm? No, every time you got Trick of the Chase. Yeah. So it wasn't for. Tell me the truth. This isn't about my lost memories, is it? You're not trying to restore them. You're giving me someone else's. What are you talking about? They're Juro's memories. In other words. Yours, the other Juro Izumi. <sighs> you know, this one's three times older than you. See ya. Bye. You know, we can't have you causing a scene. All right, Chase is on. Grab your bag. Needs to be wiped. Let me try. All right. Sorry, you are you know, right. You you did the nurse office first. That guy, he might he called himself Sukasa Okino. I feel like we've met somewhere before. No. Fuyasaka sons, but I think she might maybe I could ask her on the under hand. He's probably Fuyasaka, but I <laughs> she, <laughs> Shiba Kun's not and not only that, he's been it seems his good I wish this was is she really on? She wants to. Can I trust her? Uh, try talking to Nanji. No, running won't ch What about Yakush? She's not here. Are you looking for. Yeah, Okura. Sure am. Got a clue where she went. Uh, wait, uh. Tell me, keep the rocket. I can't. I don't think you have information for him. We escaped to Sumire Bridge. These must be Shibakun's memories, or rather, the other Juro. Oh! Oh, wait! I think I know the event that triggered with him. If that was, does that mean Nami sons and then brought up in my dream? Oh, to do that, we had to blow up, and well, we did it. And if that weren't enough, the woman I was with in that trip. So let me get he lost his map, and the damage was so bad he needed a. Whole can you go back into the classroom? I don't think you can. I tried that. You can't run from me. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I just want to. I just want to say, I saw the Niku trigger that the first time. He got freaked the fuck out. <laughs> Oh, uh, wait, so before you go over and talk to him, talk, talk to Tommy first. See if that gives you a hint. You're meeting up at the sink, pretty much. See ya. Bye. So, do you have... 
It's about Kisaragi-san. Usami-chan? Where does she always go? Why do you ask? Ogata-kun was looking for her. Really? Maybe Nenji-kun likes her. So, do you know? She goes to Tokisaka Shrine. I think she's waiting for someone there. Tokisaka Shrine? Is that the one that's supposedly haunted? <sighs> I've been there before. And now you can talk to Nenji. Alright, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, Mystery Man, just put put in the JoJo to be continued, like right as he attacks you, kind of deal. <laughs> How the heck can you make Caspar intimidating? <laughs> I know what. <laughs> By having a show up out of nowhere and wiping your memories. <laughs> Tell me the truth is. Yeah, he just goes, Hi, I'm Caspar. Ah! <laughs> just imagine if he did that to every unit on a battlefield and a fire emblem. <laughs> Alright, right. get the heck out, Shiba. There we go. Yeah, 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 disappear. Now run! Hey, what? She's not. Are you looking for. Yep, sure am. Got a clue where. Hey, I think I do have an idea. I heard she went to Tokisaka Shrine. Huh? For real? The heck is she thinking? Wait. Ryuji? I'll come with you. <laughs> yeah, There's for real. I want to Be my guest. Oh, I love the snake coming up. Is that a Persona 5 <laughs> This street. I've been here before. I think I Here's saw something. Room. The memories are starting to come back, but I can't remember any specifics. <laughs> oh, hello there. Gato. You. Hey, Hijiyama. You remember all that shit you put me through? Because I sure as hell do. I see how it is. You came looking for another black eye. Try it. See what happens. Gerald's <laughs> uh... <laughs> just vibing. <laughs> Aren't we here to look for Kisaragi san? Yeah, but I need to punch this guy in the face. <laughs> To be fair, he yeah, to be fair, he deserves it for what he put Nenji through. Yeah. <laughs> we'll dance some other time. And that's your decision to make, huh? Selfish bastard. The hell are you doing here anyways? I'm looking for Okino. What happened to him? So you're looking for your boyfriend, and I'm looking for your friend. <laughs> I'm running away from a serial killer. <laughs> Team, we're all related. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh did, did, did that touch a nerve, good sir? <laughs> so, this Okino you're looking for. Is that Tsukasa Okino? What? You know him? Not exactly. That's just the name I heard in my dream. But it's probably the same person. So, that's who Kisaragi ran off with. Got a feeling I know where they went, too. What? How? Uh, she mentioned something about it. By the way, do you know how to work this time travel business? Uh, oh. You don't know either? Their personalities are so similar, yet they really can't get along. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, guys. You are geniuses here. The relationship is about the same. <laughs> it was right here. Something happened. But what was it? Oh yeah, I carried something over to the dumpster. Uh -oh. What's up? <laughs> 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 you guys. <laughs> you know what? I don't blame you. I think that's all I'll see about for spot. Yeah, there's a body in there. Who'll <laughs> do it? Hell? No way. Cut the cr. Whoa. Isn't that. Hey, give me a hand. Oh. Robot. It's 
It's Mao san. Why? Why does it look like her? To Mao? To Mao Karabe. Wait, what? My grandma? Why is my grandma a double? Why is my grandma a robot? <laughs> <laughs> Did grandma get run over by a reindeer again? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Grandma got run over by a reindeer once, but she wasn't taken. <laughs> she was taken for conscience this year. Hang on, never mind. See, I think I, I think I made a very similar joke when I was going to going to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she, she, she jumped. She jumped, Brandon. <laughs> Finally got my hands on that movie. Now I just need to get home and watch it. You really shouldn't be walking home at night, oh. Jiro. Oh, oh. I'm sorry it had to come to this. I should never have let you out of the underground. Ace the reindeer. You I hadn't spared you. I won't let anyone interfere with my escape. You must think you're handling this situation well. Benira is well aware. I doubt it. The reason he deleted your memories at school was to hide the log from you. Uh, quit stalling. <sighs> Morimura must have arranged this. Time to go to the to the robot, thinking that it's dead. She's not human. Is this a doll? That's odd. If that's the case, then who was talking to him? <laughs> Foolish human. Don't move a muscle, or would you like your skull to be crushed? This body will not last for much longer. I approximate about five minutes, but that should be plenty. I need only enter your nano machines. I don't like cake and shit as I But it seems today's my lucky day. <laughs> What are you doing? Juro? What? Who are you? Come on, man. Did you forget your best buddy? I'm afraid. That's not very nice. <sighs> yeah. Sorry. I remember now. You're... Shibakun. Wait, hold on. I was attacked. I need to call the police. Attacked? Maybe you really did go nuts. Huh? Are you telling me this doll attacked you? Where'd you get that thing anyway? <laughs> you really gonna say you got attacked by a grandma man? Hashtag attacked by grandma. <laughs> Something's just... Oh, snap out of it. Come on, I'll help you get rid of the thing. So, how long Pick ago did they put this in there? Like, how the, the right. garbage never came for it? <laughs> yeah, they got lucky nobody nobody picked on that trash. Yeah, like... <laughs> Falls! <laughs> <laughs> Grandma got put away in the dumpster. Then she hijacked a high school is mine! <laughs> After jumping off that tall bridge! <laughs> and now the world is gonna go to shit! <laughs> Check out for our new album coming in the year 2025. <gasps> what? Made that joke in, in, in the other chat, so it's like, out of all the songs, it gets popular. <laughs> This isn't about my- You're not trying to restore- You're giving me some- 
Shiba, what if we had to Google this song again? Wait, can we you... already know how this was supposed to go to go. Just start the chase already. Oh. Ah, fuck. Tron, you jumped out of that robot and possessed me. What do you think I am, a ghost? I had nowhere else sort to go. Sort of. If it me, I would have picked a more welcome Yes, The answer is yes and no. You know, I think you can talk. Oh, oh yeah, there he goes. Causing a scene here. Your memory needs to be wiped clean. Let me try one more time. Actually, think about your grandma. <laughs> I mean, that's, yeah. that's awfully nice spot. As Shinonome Senpai told me earlier, there's a second Juro Iti transfer, so that must have been what I saw. But still, why did it look just like my grandma when she was younger? <laughs> grandma, what did you do? It's like, uh, when, when he's saying, like, one more time, he's sounding like fucking Zagreus. It's like, alright, one more time. <laughs> like, kind of deal. I try to think of the other event that you would need to do though. I feel like he lost his map and the damp that's how he she really she wants to can I trust her? Oh Or I could just trick her on his own. Miss Morimura Chihiro Morimura that's right cat suit Is this my X ray vision coming to pass? Excuse me. Kurabikum is something wrong? I'm getting good chased by a demon <laughs> robot <laughs> thing! <laughs> I found my grandma in a dumpster! <laughs> and then she hijacked my mind! <laughs> and now Casper keeps following me. He's trying to erase my memory! Please, please tell me there is an image of like, you know the one where the guy's running in the hall and there's just a floating dude in the back? Please tell me somebody has made that meme with Jero. <gasps> Let me. <laughs> that image <Let> me... <laughs> better exist. <laughs> I think it exists, I just need to find it. Chihiro Morimura. I don't know what you're talking about. Have you been aware this whole time that Shibakun was inside of me? Or rather... That's a weird way of putting it. Mm -hmm. was. <gasps> you talk too much. You think you can just walk in here and screw everything up? I'm not afraid to shut your mouth. Kurabikun? <laughs> I will get the duct tape out. <laughs> yeah, he, he's not letting you. <laughs> uh, Run! <laughs> To the nurses, I'll put Shinonomi senpai. Fuck it. <laughs> uh, just think, think, th think, think, okay. bubble. Uh, if the woman from my den, Sukat, where have I seen him before? Where have you seen him before? Where's the one place that you have seen him before? Dreamed of this. In my dream, to do that. And and if that weren't the woman I was, the, uh, I was shots like Fuyus. If that does that mean Fuyusaka Sana, we escaped to Sumire Brit these must or rather I think you can go I think I think that trick is so you can go now. <sighs> the other way, but yeah. <laughs> for fine. That's right. Uh, I thought Casper was supposed to be a friendly ghost. <laughs> Just like He's not friendly <laughs> at all. Might makes right, right? <laughs> hey, do you have a minute? Huh? Uh, you're Tsukasa Okino, right? You must be mistaken. You even sound like him. You were in that UFO with Juro Izumi, right? You're not making any sense. Sorry, but I don't have time for this. If you'll excuse me. Wait! The UFO wasn't the only time. I know I've met you somewhere else. That's right. I remember now. Oh, this thing. Oh. Prisoner E-426. Face forward. The drug has been administered. The perp cannot fight back. Do not be alarmed. It is safe to enter. Prisoner E-426, 
Look up while we're speaking to you. Or would you rather bear the brunt of the electric chair? So this man's the culprit? He's a murderer. He bombed Shikishima, killing countless people. We managed to catch him, but his identity is still unknown. Furthermore, his testimony makes no sense. That's why I've requested your assistance. The name's Onishi. I'm in charge of this investigation. I appreciate your help. Mr. Tsukasa Okino. <sighs> Tsukasa-kun. Take a good look at him. Do you know this man? No. I'm afraid I've never seen him before. All right, then. Your biometrics lead me to believe you're being honest with us. Why did you bring me here? Well, we used a truth serum on the guy. He started saying your name over and over. He also mentioned a student by the name of Chihiro Morimura. This is her photo. Do you recognize her? No. We'll be requesting her cooperation soon enough, but it'll have to wait until next week. She's currently out of the country. In any case, thank you for joining us today. I may ask for your presence again if any new info turns up. Of course. You are free to go. Follow the signs back to the waiting room. Looks like he's awake. Perfect. I'm almost done. Stop kidnapping children. What's <laughs> going on? Hey, what is this? Calm down, please. High blood pressure generates noise in the scan. Tsukasa Okino. I remember now. I was attacked out of nowhere. Sorry about that. It was the only way. This isn't the most welcoming place, is it? I can't imagine you would have come. You could have asked. <laughs> I just want the demon out of my head. Aren't you? I saw you in my dream, and by the way, even knowing what I know now, that she still confuses me. There was something odd about you, but that dream. I, I know the answer, but I can't say. <laughs> like, I won't know if the time travel shit stuff is bullshit. How's there are two of them? And kind of deal. Besides more clothes, I'm guessing it's just the. I think I am thinking once this uh once this playthrough is done I I kind of want to do a Nico, well a little bit what Nico D B did and we just have an entire stream just dedicated to like actually piecing together what the hell happened in this entire yeah. story kind of deal. I know the answer. It's just really hard to explain. Hmm. I'm glad I looked into this to think he'd seek refuge within Juro himself. Do you know him? We call him 426. As of now, he exists as sheer consciousness. Two, four, six, zero, that is to say, he lives in your injected nano machines. Four. Also, the further this game went on, the more I just went, you know, okay, no, I kind of don't like you. <laughs> it's him, officer. <laughs> That's the man who keeps beating me up. <laughs> he can alter his appearance however he pleases. You guys can see him? He's under my control now. He can't hurt you anymore. Jeez, Juro. Why you gotta be so obtuse? Tell us the purpose of your disguise. 
He's trying to take over my mind. Hey, don't get the wrong idea. I'm not the one who wanted that. Chihiro Morimura is. Our teacher? She wanted to transplant my memory backups into you. Whatever she could do to match your personality with mine. But Tamao Kurabe didn't like the idea. She created a new personality. The one you have now. But you were using videotapes to alter my memories. Yeah, well, the backups weren't meshing with your simulated personality. You almost had a breakdown, man. So I decided to turn it into something a little more concrete. Something your current self would understand. You should thank me for saving your ass. Somehow I find that hard to believe. Why did you try to help me? Yeah. Well, if Morimura's plan did work out, there'd just be another copy of me running around. Besides, I don't want to be left watching over your unstable mess. I won't tolerate being used any longer. I'm sick of it. 426. For better or worse, she's given up on the Sentinel Project. Her interest in Juro Karabe has waned. But the Sentinel Project is the only option we have. Wrong. Sentinels can't save us alone. Then what can? You're talking as if you know the answer. I do. I've found an effective means for our survival. Would you like to hear it? What we call the UFO? I know who programmed it. It was a certain someone named Tsukasa Okino, back in 2188. 2188? It's hard to believe from looking at you now, but he was quite the sloppy programmer. When he designed the environment management system, he borrowed a portion of it from something else. That particular portion contains the D code. It's what's summoning the kaiju. That part of the code was never supposed to be accessed. Well, well, it was. Where was this code reused from? It was a little outdated, even for its time. But it's a little sim game based on Mighty Kaiju Daimos. A Daimos game? You're telling me a video game has control over the automated factories? <laughs> how the Kaiju are being produced? Where do you think the name Daimos came from? It's not a coincidence, you know. Up until now, we've been forced to play a game we can't win. But just imagine, what if we gained access to the greater system? We've had limited control over it so far. If we fix that, we'll be able to fight on an equal playing field. Think about it. Each time we destroy an enemy, we'll get some kind of meta prize. Like scoring points. With those, we can use the automated factories to strengthen our sentinels. Points, huh? Let's just call them meta chips for now. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes! 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 <laughs> really? <laughs> yes, yeah. there there is a story reason for the gameplay. <laughs> yes. 426 is, is the reason why we have the gameplay. <laughs> so is he the reason why sentries are so overpowered in this? <gasps> why do you think he gave sentry guns to Juro of all people? <laughs> He's not the reason that sentry guns are overpowered. He's the reason that we're able to actually upgrade our stuff. <laughs> Hang on, I love the line coming up next. The fate of humankind's last colony in a video game? Hijiyama-kun. <laughs> what was that log all about? You want to find out? Go help that idol who's stuck in orbit. Well, it's about that time. I need to get going. What? Don't worry. He can't do a thing. Maybe. But a guy like him probably planned ahead. Oh, give the boy a prize! You can be surprisingly sharp at times, Ijiyama. Ah, oh, shit! Sorry. It's kind of what they both deserve. Yeah. Thank goodness, I made it in time. Yeah, thanks to me talking their ears off. Did you walk through tar to get here? I'm doing exactly as you told me. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Now you know who the cat is. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. Wait, hold on. Uh, get the play back. Uh, sorry. Didn't think that it's very bad. Cat's the cat. Wait.
Patrick. What are you talking about? Now you know who the cat is. Wait, 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 hold on. I I don't think wait, hold on. Here. <laughs> Patrick, what's the issue? No, 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 no. I, I, I literally don't I literally don't. Okay, yeah, tuck your ears off. Did you walk through Tarnagate here after this? Foul mouth cat. You can see. I, wait, I, I, I actually don't understand of like who the. Uh, Shiba no. transformed into the cat. Shiba transformed into the cat. Let's go. Excuse me, what? <laughs> yeah. 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 The cat in Megami's story is also Shiba. Wait, wait, and wait, he, wait, 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 when did that happen? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, so, 426, Shiva, and the cat making me story are all the same person. <laughs> oh, hang on. Oh, okay, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm really confused. So, 426, four, that Jiro, that, uh, Jiro, uh, Izumi. Uh, or that Jura Izumi, uh, is the same person that's the cat, or no wait, no, I I think what Jason said kind of confused me. So, when when did when did you become the cat? Like, it specifically in that scene, after after he turned around to talk to Hijiyama, the camera pans over to Megami, who shoots him. Who, like, who, who shoots them both, and in that transition, uh, Shiva transforms into the cat that Megami has been hanging out with the whole time. Okay, okay. So is that Megami's first scene, uh, kind of deal, then? Hold up. I intend to fulfill that promise. Just as you said. A kaiju attacked, like in that movie. So we'll do what we have to do. Get in the robots and fight. Our fate was sealed a long time ago. itself 
may be gone, but I do remember what it was about. And as long as you have my memories, I don't need to explain a thing, do I? Are you really okay with this? Of course not. I want in on the action, too. And yet, you're entrusting it all to me. Even though they kind of turned you into a sissy, in the end, you're still Juro, just like me. I've accepted it. We've all got to play with the hands we're dealt. Fuyusaka's not going to be able to handle him alone. Go for it, Juro. What's going to happen to you? Piloting a Sentinel takes a hell of a lot of brain power. If your nanomachines are focused on that, there won't be much processing power left. In other words, I won't be able to talk to you anymore. But you've got my memories, right? You know what needs to be done. The rest is up to you. You're right. I'll do it. I guess I'll be going then. Right. Put your game face on, Juro. We've taken turns for the last time. Try not to get a game over. Sentinel number 13. Activate. See, he is pro that good. Of course he gets the 13th Sentinel. Yeah, of ah. course. <laughs> A lot of that. All right, that's your story wrapped up. <laughs> okay, to to better explain the whole Shiva cat thing, um, like the only reason Shiva can only be seen by Juro is that he's seeing him through the nano machines in his body. It's pretty much projecting. Yeah. Like just just like he said, he can't he can't project project, project him when Juro's doing the Sentinel, who also has nano machines and can control a Sentinel. Uh, I can't remember who at this point. Cause like, doesn't everybody have like a bit of nano machines in them? Like, do yeah, pilot? yeah. So, so what stopped me from using someone else's nano machines for someone to see them? <laughs> uh, okay. So that that explains the cat <laughs> at that yeah. point. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, then uh, I'm just uh like uh. By the way, I think now that at this point, now that you know who the cat is and who Shiva is, I think now that question you asked in the first stream of who voices Shiva can be, can be answered. Because now that's a long road spoiler. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Ben Diskin voices Shiva and the cat. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, all right. You would have been told that earlier that would have given the cat away. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, was there any... Okay, for the person in the future that was Megami's dad, that's a character we haven't really met before that scene, right? Uh, yeah, I think he sh he should have been added. Or, yeah, that's think, yeah, that's 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 twenty one eighty eight Megami. Uh, let me see if I can go one down here. Pops up. I don't know if he shows up in these yet. Uh, I also don't think that the person holding Megami will shows up again in the story. Okay. I don't think he. Yeah, I think his only purpose is to explain how Megami got there. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, speaking of which. Yeah. Ah, uh, so that's why you're locked. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we have to explain where your kitty came from. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. By the way, so now, now with the back half of Jiro, what do you think? Uh, okay, uh, to, to explain that, I definitely like Jarrell a lot more, uh, kind of deal. I think, um, him dealing with the personality swaps is pretty interesting. Um, I would still say he's kind of middle of the pack, uh, you know, I would say. They kind of deal, but I do like him more, uh, you know, kind of deal. Yeah. I also do think that his story has actually one of the better endings. The yeah. Mm -hmm. Juro, y you good, fam? Oh no! Uh, uh, I had a uh, really rough uh, day at school. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay. okay. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! over the fact see, of the video see, game see, the TV's on. Get up. You love movies, <laughs> right? Up. Shut up! <laughs> Time to make the heme booger. What's 
should I make for dinner? You already fucking know. <gasps> I'll make Juro's favorite meal. Time to cook some Hamburg steak. We should probably check to see how he's doing, but you know what? I'll cook. Done. Something smells good. You're awake. Just in time for dinner. Am I... Juro Izumi? What? Are you saying... Do you remember me? You knew about this? That these dreams are really his memories? Please, you have to tell me. Uh-oh. His memories haven't returned yet. Is what Fluffy's been doing really working? I hope so. You're... You're Juro Karabe. Why are you saying that? It's all I can say. I made a promise to Tamao-san. My grandma? Please, don't ask me anything else. I won't be able to continue staying here if you do. I don't understand. You want my hand? My kind of boyfriend will captivate. I'm gonna go hang out with my friend Shiba Kun. <laughs> Stop talking to your imaginary friend to talk to me. Shiba understands me. He's the only one that understands me. Can never come back. Megumi-san, so this is where you went. <sighs> you were with Juro earlier. Hmm. I suppose this is technically the first time we've met. I'm Tamel Karabe. You are crying. Poor thing. Well, what do you want? I know you have feelings for Juro. What does that have to do with anything? You desire to be by his side, do you not? Oh, well, of course I do. Then you will do just that. I'll make the arrangements. What? However, I have two conditions. First, you will treat him as Juro Karabe. Huh? You must not tell him anything about the future or about himself. But why? It's the only way to keep him safe. I don't understand. Can you do it? Can you treat him only as Juro Karabe? Well, uh, I... My other condition. If he starts to remember he is Juro Izumi, you must tell me immediately. But he is. Why would that be bad? It would be dangerous if he became Juro Izumi. Very dangerous. <laughs> Stares at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Those old, like, Dora on it kind of deal. What will you do? I accept. How wonderful. Here, these documents make it legal for you to live with him. <laughs> A now we need to read the terms and conditions. I of our arrangement myself. Please, go to Juro now. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and take these two rings while you're at it. Wait, hold up! <laughs> this is a plan to initiate his hero TP. Fluffy, can nobody else see you? That was a not answer. <laughs> oh. Casually walking. Waiting for an event. Sure. Yes. <laughs> that is his name. <laughs> uh, do you have to think of something? Nope. 
Oh. Miss Morimura. So, you've been living at the Karabe house. Oh, yes. Has there been any change? Has he said anything strange? Any confusion about being Juro Izumi? What makes you ask that? It sounds like you know something. Don't tell me. You know something? Excuse me. Karabe-kun, is something wrong? You look pale. Tell me the truth. I'm actually Juro Izumi, aren't I? The way I am now is something you created. What's this all of a sudden? I get it now. The woman who keeps showing up in my dreams. The one I saw on Sumire Bridge. It's not Fuyusaka-san. It's you. Chihiro Morimura. I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Have you been aware this whole time? <gasps> Kurabe-kun? Juro! My planet needs me! <laughs> what was that about? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Don't leave me! <laughs> oh, hold on. I like I like this swoosh animation when you stop running. Whoosh. Air. <laughs> Whoosh. <laughs> Anime ending Megumi. <laughs> Whoosh. <laughs> like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you went to your concert tonight! <laughs> <laughs> Go after Juro! Juro Kun! Hey. Fluffy, you're talking to me here? Won't other people see? This is an emergency. Juro's been taken. What? That idiot. He got too close to some dangerous people. Dangerous? Those who use magic for their own means. You went there before. The abandoned wait, wait, wait. Okay, room. hold on. I'm confused a little bit. So, when did when did he become the cat? Uh, kind of deal then? Because I thought that's like what oh, sure. when he was taken They're going to, to alter his memories. You need to go there again. Actually, if you oh, there he goes. Uh, bye. <laughs> What's in your dreams, aren't you? Do you remember me? It's not exactly like that. I finally understand. These, the things I remember, they aren't from the Juro you know. <gasps> no, that can't be. Why would you say that? The things I saw in my dreams, they're memories. And the only memory I have of you is when I shot and killed you. I was worried. I was so afraid that, that I'd hurt you again. Because I... Who are you? Is there really nothing left? There's no trace of him inside you? No, I betrayed everyone. I betrayed Tony. It was all a lie. I... I'm such an idiot. Yakushiji. Cat, what was the point? Wait, yeah, boy. <gasps> you mean shitty shooting all my friends won't solve my love problems? What? what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so because I, 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 I think the cat thing is kind of confusing me. So, when did he become the cat? <laughs> like, <laughs> um, I, th um, because Megumi hangs around with, with, with Juro. Jaro, uh, Shiba has access to her nano machines, and I guess he, and I guess for some reason he decided, you know what, the best way to approach her, 
Become a cat. So, uh, basically, just be, by virtue of being so close, like, Shiva managed to kind of hijack into her mind, too, is... Yeah, and and so he modified her, their nanomachine so only they can see him. Okay, okay. And he can change form at will, so he it's, appears different so depending just, on the person. So he's just existing in both minds at the same time. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> just... I did not think the cat would be like the... <laughs> what, you thought magic magic was real? <laughs> well, not just like, like of, of the cat being multiple people like shit. Like... <laughs> it's all because of Nano Machine, son. Hmm? Oh, hi. Hello, little girl. Apparently, goodbye, little girl. <laughs> like, I think you're supposed to... Yeah, there he goes. By yourself too? There's someone coming. Can you stay and talk till then? Making a child wait all by herself. Of course. I'll stay here until they come get you. Where's your friends? Well, I have some at school. No, I silly. shot all I'm of not them. Talking about them. I mean your friend that told you to update the decode. <gasps> hmm? What's wrong? You look like a scared kitten. Uh. Hold it. <laughs> <laughs> <Child> has a gun. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a threatening aura. <laughs> like I <do. laughs> ordered you to update the decode. Decode? Do you mean? The I'm thinking of like BB Hood from Dark Stalker style. <laughs> Like Tell a bear, or was. like peacock. It was a cat. Huh? A, a cat? <laughs> With a white tipped tail. So you shot her. So, remember when you shot me, ma'am? <laughs> did you know? Do you understand what you did to me? I sealed your powers as a witch to fight the kaiju. That's what I was told. Witches and cats. Interesting story. I thought you'd be able to see through the runes a bit more. Wanna know what you shot him with? It was nano machines. They add <coughs> code to the ones already in their bodies. The code expands the kaiju's capabilities. How strong it will allow them to become, we have no way of knowing. That can't be. The one behind all this. The one who manipulated you. It seems they are trying to take control of the decode. If they succeed, they will also have control of the Sentinel dock in the factory. In other words, we lose all our means of defense. Are you aware of who that cat is? No. That seems bad. He must have known this would happen. He had a plan. That's why he used the girl, so we couldn't trace it back to him. But that very cleverness is what proves it was him. So, who is he? No one you'd have heard of. He's a criminal from the future. A criminal? From the very beginning. It was all lies. I won't forgive him. Not ever. No, oh, go talk to the cat. The cat's not over there. <laughs> Now you see, gents, ladies and gentlemen, this is why you don't trust cats that give you contracts. <laughs> there you of are. any kind. <laughs> About time you got back. If they say for you to hunt... <laughs> Especially if they say for you to hunt witches. <laughs> <laughs> you lied to me. About everything. You seem mad. But I haven't lied to you. You're not a... I've been saying that from the beginning. <laughs> You're a criminal from the future. I know you are. All that about ancient civilizations and curses. You've been playing me for a fool the whole time! I haven't been lying. There is an ancient civilization. This may look like the 20th century, but it's not. Humanity actually died out in the 22nd century. It's been millions of years since then. So, in reality, the 22nd century is an ancient civilization. So you're saying 
This isn't the real world. No, more lies. I'm done with you. <laughs> Another Fritz Nina B character tried the same thing. It didn't really work on that cat either. I'm only making preparations. A game where our lives are on the line? Not if things go the way I want them to. I can get you all out of here alive. Man! <laughs> Meow. <laughs> Shoot him with Juro's memories. <laughs> Whose memories are in Juro? All oh, right, that. Those are my memories, actually. <sighs> it's not my fault, though. You really think I'd believe your lies again? No, I don't imagine you would. You were using Juro too, weren't you? It was not my intention, but in the end, that is what happened. You need to give up on trying to bring him back. By the way, I forgot to mention, you're the final witch, but you don't have to meet the same fate as the rest of them. Wait, what? You stopped shooting me for five seconds. I can explain it to you, I assure you. I will shoot the cat. Mm. Oh no! <laughs> no! What's happening? Time to have your entire world brought upside down. It's me? What is this? This is all my fault. I forced everyone into battle, but the only one who really deserves to die is me. Tommy, forgive me. <laughs> to actually shoot yourself like that. It must have really been driving you mad. But don't worry. If you don't fight, there's no way you'll survive. You did what had to be done. I want to apologize about his memories. There were things that happened I didn't expect. But none of that matters to you. There's no excuse. I boasted about how I could bring him back. It may seem like I tricked you, but I really did all that I could. I had no ill intent. Well, maybe a little. I just wanted him to become the Juro of my world. I wanted to control his feelings of love. Almost like a parent to their child. I wanted my desires to become his own. I guess I hesitated once I saw the depth of your feelings. There was still some human left in me, after all. You might not believe me, but I really have become fond of you. Megumi Yakushiji, the days we spent together were surprisingly fun. It gave me an odd feeling, as if I were on holiday with a cheeky daughter. You left me some nice memories. And now it's up to all of you. I've made all the preparations I could. Since I was unable to hold up my end of our contract, this is goodbye. If our plan succeeds, I want you to live out the rest of your life with Juro. Take care, and good luck. Yakushiji. Juro. What happened? <laughs> Did you... Shoot yourself in the stomach? With that gun? Please, wait. Just hear me out. The 
Ever since I last saw you, I've been thinking about the dreams I had. None of that matters now. I dream of myself inside the Sentinel. I've seen it over and over. I fight in the Sentinel, taking down Kaiju after Kaiju, struggling in pain, fighting like some kind of possessed demon. Right arm destroyed. Damage immense. Pilot must cease control. I still have my left arm. Abnormality detected in life support. Emergency release of Sentinel pilot. Initiating. No, cancel release. I'll continue to pilot. Override command. I won't let them destroy Megumi City. This place is home to all our memories. Life support limit reached. Emergency release procedure. Initiating. No, cancel the release. I'm not done yet. The more I thought about it, the clearer it became. The only one who has experience piloting Sentinels is the Juro Izumi you know. These are his memories. <sighs> In battle, he was always calling out someone's name. I didn't realize it at first, but I know it now. It was your name. He was fighting for you. Juro. I'm not... <sighs> I'm not Juro Izumi anymore. But my feelings are the same. <sighs> Maybe it's because of his memories. But even so, none of that matters to me now. Because I... Well, I love you. <sighs> my feelings for you are just as strong and true as Izumi's. <sighs> Do you not feel the same way? Thank you, but... Fluffy really was trying. Just like he said, he was trying to get his memories back. What do I... It's true that uh, I'm not... I may not be as strong as him. But I don't care. I will protect you. With everything that I have. No. <laughs> I'll never let you fight on your own again. I'll fight to protect you too, Jura. I wouldn't have it any other way. Does that mean... Yakushiji. Look at him sleeping up there. I hope he's warm. I wonder if he'll still be there at lunch. Doubt it. Fluffy. I know you're not him. I just wanted to say, I'm sorry, and I... Oh. I'll try my best. For you, Fluffy. There we go. Okay. So, hey. Hmm. Yeah. I, I, I don't really have much to say about Megami, honestly. Hmm. It's, it's, it's mostly pretty, it's mostly a pretty clear and cut, cut story. It's, it's more so, it's more so she fell in love with this girl. She wants she wants her back. She betrayed her friend. She realized, ah, shit, that's kind of wrong, wrong me to do. And yeah, uh, like I get that, but like, hmm, I think the biggest problem is that I don't quite buy the love between these two, and that's kind of a problem. I, I think because like especially biggest... this Juro doesn't spend really much time with Megumi, honestly, in. See, th yeah, that's kind of the thing, because Megumi is doing everything for the Juro that that technically died in the battle. Yeah. But the thing is, we don't know their relationship beforehand. 
Yeah. So it's kind of hard to fully understand the depths of her feelings. It, it kind of says something when, like, the relationship between these two and these two feel a lot more, like, fought out than with Juro and Megami uh, on that. And that wasn't even, like, their big plot point, you know? <laughs> Also didn't help that Juro was just kind of being being snitchy at Megami. Yeah. <laughs> like, I think the idea is that he's trying to avoid her because, oh shit, I, I kill you in, in one of my dreams. I should probably not do that. But even even then, the quote-unquote crush he supposedly developed for her wasn't as well shown in the story. Yeah. Like, uh... Like, I, I feel like I like Juro. <laughs> I think that I think honestly did more for Juro, I feel, than Megami. Uh, for me. <laughs> On that, I, I feel. <laughs> I thought, like, her ending well enough. Like, the symbolism of her shooting her, herself. But yeah. Yeah. Oh, hang on, bot. <laughs> uh, so, let's see. Now I believe that is now nine stories done at this point. So, uh, we just have A, uh... Goto, uh, Mira, and, uh, ha Hajiyama, uh, at this point, so. Uh, also, yeah, it's, also, since it's really obvious, Megami's story is inspired by Magical Girl anime. Oh, absolutely, you can so tell, <laughs> Specific? <laughs> yeah. I just wish, right. yeah, your, yours was, let's, uh, we only got, like, ten, mm, so, who are we starting? Hmm, okay, uh... Okay, are we able to finish, uh, in one go, or do we need to... Is there any other part of his story that requires another... I think... I think we can go through through their stories quite good at... quite well enough, so... Okay, uh, yeah, cause, uh... Hmm. Who are you most interested in diving into right now? Probably A. Uh, I would say, out of the two of them? Uh, yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting, because I've never seen his story this way before. Alright, uh, this late, <laughs> you know, kind of do? Yeah. Oh yeah, memory loss. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> A shot. Yeah. Huh? Um. Monkey. I should stay near the station now. I should sort out my thoughts. We just did, but yeah. I 
take it you've seen the recording, Ben. <sighs> who are you? Just a friend who's trying to help out. A friend? I didn't expect you to be so... thorough. Regardless, you handled the Morimura assignment well. So you're the one who wrote those instructions. I... can't remember anything. That's exactly why I've contacted you. Listen, it's not safe out there. Don't trust anyone. Anyone? Including you? Better to be too careful than too careless. Otherwise, you'll never escape from this world. Escape? In the meantime, just stay put and don't go far. I'll see what I can do about your pursuers. You'll hear from me again soon. It disconnected. Don't trust anyone, huh? He mentioned an escape. Like I did in that message to myself. Should I really just wait for him to contact me again? No. He said not to trust anyone. And that includes him. Fine, I won't trust you. Fine. <laughs> Sounds like school just started. I'm so late. Uh, crap. I need to drop by the track room first. Hmm. No sign of her. <laughs> okay, this is this is not a criticism for a story, but just more so a Yori knowing the context of this. <laughs> oh, that's my student ID. I thought I'd lost it, but I'm glad you were there to find it for me. Thank you. Do these pills belong to you? Pills? Wait, aren't those the pills you've been taking? Oh. My mistake. What are they for? I'm fine. <laughs> I'm better than that. Iori, was there something you wanted to tell me? Huh? Well, like I said before, I still like you. Even if it is one sided. <laughs> Awkward. Looking, at, looking at the camera just like yeah <laughs> she's the school nurse here right huh yeah she is what about her what if <sighs> ever since that day she hasn't come back to school could something have happened which day the day I heard about Miss Morimura's secret uh, I'm sure she's fine Morimura's secret. We must accept our fate. Huh? <laughs> That's not good. These guys have shit eyesight, my god. <laughs> it's okay. He's gone. Thanks. Oh no! My first class is about to start! What will you do now, Akun? I'm gonna pay a visit to the nurse's office. But those men, won't they be on campus too? <sighs> Why don't you meet me here after school's out? I'll show you where to go. All right. I'll see you later. <laughs> Turn circles around her. <laughs> we must accept our fate. That's what Chihiro Morimura said. It's hazy, but. 
I think I remember. So this is where you've been. I figured I'd give the area an advanced survey. Quite the view. Worth taking in one last time. Right. I expect there to be considerable damage. We weren't prepared for them in Sector 1. There was nothing we could do. But not this time. We will fend them off. I certainly hope so. We've managed to prepare 19 Sentinels. And we've had positive results in our battle simulations. That won't mean much if our enemies have evolved. It seems our victory ultimately depends on luck. So let's assume we're met with the worst-case scenario. If we fail this time, we'll perform another loop. And we'll start over from the very beginning. We'll have a greater chance of success that way. Even if it means leaving this world behind? No. No more running away. If we don't settle this here, then I'm initiating Operation Aegis. So you intend to close the loop, then? If you do, no one will be able to leave. At the very least, we'll survive. You expect us to grow old and die in this godforsaken place? When that time comes, we must accept our fate. In any case... Yes. If we win now, we can avoid such an outcome. Then we'll finally be able to leave this world and... Uh, okay, I got that out of my system. <laughs> You've been standing there. We finished the cat. I don't know who you people are or where you came Ah, so he got to the Frankly, weird to the weird care. profession piece. Just as long as you can defend my city from the kaiju without retreat. So whose story are you on now? Uh we're starring A's uh, now. We're counting on you. A hmm? I actually really like the setup for a story. Yeah. Well, I assume you have some questions for me. There's something I need to confer. Oh, I guess I was playing Monster Keep Hunter. I just uh, let me let, let me get it. Using Ryoko Ryoko Senpai, go back right? Bullshit. Look, I did two hunts <laughs> and then I left. For the oh no, I was talking about the guy. The oh guy yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's just so, it's just so timing of that statement. Why is it swear? It's only two. We don't even Sophie, it was Sophie, Mom. There's only two. I swear. I'd like it to be done without her knowledge. Depending on how the situation unfolds, there's a possibility she may resort to drastic measures. Is that what she was just talking about? This. Operation. Oh, yeah. That's right. Operation Aegis. What is its purpose? The enemy's main target is the underground mainframe. <laughs> Each terminal is equipped with a self defense protocol. However, the enemy's attacks seem to bypass it. So the moment they strike, we'll hack the terminal. This will activate the defense protocol. The Aegis system. Isn't that a good thing? Not exactly. Doing so will render our time machine useless. And that means we can never start over again. What's so bad about that? It doesn't matter as long as we succeed, right? Time will cease to flow in this world. When it does, everything will descend into chaos. And in the end, we'll be the only ones left behind in this hellscape. <sighs> oh. Okay, so more and more uh, uh, wants to she wants to stop people from going to the different sectors and stuff like that. Uh, Exterminator. <laughs> okay, to okay to explain, she wants to activate Operation Aegis, which is supposed to initiate a defense system to help fight the kaiju, but uh, that also means they can't do time loops anymore. Everybody would be stuck in one period for the rest yeah. of it, okay. 
It's, 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 it's a lot of them don't understand that it's not time travel and stuff like that. They don't realize that of how locked out they actually are and stuff like that. Ooh. Yes, Sam. No. Because mm -hmm. remember, Ida wants to initiate a time loop to get his Vocaloid back. <laughs> mm -hmm. None of those mini black suits here. Positive. Come. By the way, what did you think of Megami's story? I seriously hope it's okay. <laughs> like, I think it does more for Jiro than Megami's. Uh, it's like, when when your entire story revolves around, you know, your your love for another person uh, kind of deal. Uh -huh. If I don't buy your relationship with that person and it doesn't feel like there's much going on there, I think a lot of it tends to fall apart. And that's kind of my yep, biggest... Ex yep, exactly. That's my so, biggest problem with it, is that I don't buy the relationship at all. So... Mystery, I think... I think Megumi is a is a is a good person at heart. It's just that her entire story revolves a, a lot around Juro. That yeah. If Juro, I guess, treated Megumi better throughout the game, and we, because the thing is, the, the thing about the relationship that never really got to me is that I don't think they communicated well enough why Megumi likes Juro. No, the the, the like 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 you said, said like okay, Megumi like likes Juro, but. I don't see why she likes him because of the way that he treated her throughout the game. So at the end, when we got the confession, I just like, I don't know about that one, Chief. It, 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 it said something that like Natsuno and Ogami's relationship and then Chu and uh, Yuki's relationship feels more, way more natural than that one, you know? If a random stranger like me is seen on campus, will that be a problem? Oh, I don't know. Although it's still a better relationship than these two. <laughs> but you shouldn't worry, especially with that. Oh, the pot shots are gonna be strong. Yeah, they're gonna all over this little park. So you don't have to feel like a stranger. I mean, it's like I'm looking at the worst parrot this whole so game. Let's a high -like Look, in the future. In a story, it's not that bad. It's in more if you know the context and you're like. Really? <laughs> and I know the context. <laughs> for yourself someday. I know. I, like even with even even knowing what comes later, because going through Iori's story and that confession seat on the bike. <laughs> and, and, and then later how how much they lead into it, I just went, stop. <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> also, yours like I'm gonna help you break into the the facility lounge. Yay! <laughs> also, hi, Tommy. Hi, Toby. What's up? Hey, Sami chan What are you doing here? Well, he wanted to check out the school, so I'm just showing him around. Hmm. Mm. Oh, cool. <laughs> anyway, we better get going. All right. See you later. Oh yeah, uh, Natsuno and uh, Kitaro is uh, good as well. Uh, I would say, because I not, mean, they they spend plenty of time with one another and stuff yeah. like that. So. Oh, speaking of which. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up! I know that girl. Mm. Oh. Yuki-chan is nowhere to be found. <laughs> Where's my... Where Where's is the Yuki-chan? <laughs> and then he just pauses and goes, Why did I say it like that? <laughs> okay, considering that A story happens very late, it's kind of cute that you can actually see them walking together. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the only aspect of A story that throws me off slash I don't... I, 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 yeah, well, not that I don't like it that confuses me. Because you see, you you see this guy a lot throughout the game, and it flashbacks. And then we finally get a chance to go through his story and play as him. A lot of the stuff you see before you play as him is stuff that happens before his story. I think it's what makes it inter what makes it interesting for me, because you you have the guy who you see throughout the entire story, and then you finally play as him. Is like, who am I? <laughs> These are student medical records. It definitely makes his ending it's, uh, very, very interesting. 
good selfie. For me, imagine me going from his ending I into Goto. To the key to and all I had to do was learn the future. <laughs> imagine that transition. <laughs> well. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Hang on, can you do something with the Riori? Okay, I can talk to her. Oh. What's wrong? Well, um, it, it's just the two of us in here together. Riori. All alone. Uh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Are you looking for something, Akun? It must be really important. Let's see. There has to be a spare key for that desk. And it's probably somewhere in the teacher's lounge. Okay, I'll make up another excuse. Then I might be able to get my hands on it. <laughs> Onwards! Let's take a look at these. Ryoko looks like she was given C0204. Hang on, there's a, there was a triangle. Yeah. Oh, there we go. God dang it. She's been administering this drug to there's the There's a my Fukita Harsh 3. Uh, that replaced... Okay, so what's the name of the card guy? And oh, uh... Uh, Luke Sword. uh... Luke Sword. Luke Sword, yeah. Yeah, there's a mod that replaces so his cards with the Udo cards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi oh. there! Hello, Megumi. I am no longer asking. Are you working with them? This is what you wanted me to do. What I wanted? Hey, what is this? Did I come in at a bad time? You too, Megumi. What are you thinking? I'm thinking about I'm I'm thinking about you you to the clock of this man. <laughs> You know, Megumi, you really should use intimidation and turn turn your gun sideways. What's your problem? Well, clearly, I'm just a hopeless busybody. I'm going to look for Megumi. Toby's a good friend. <laughs> that girl with the braids. I know. Really should have talked to Megumi more. But where? Yeah, that that would probably help things. <laughs> That's right. She's. Uh-oh. The lights are still on. Maybe this place isn't entirely abandoned. This terminal should be able to tell me where I am. Quite a bit of Android information here. This all looks like research data. Brandon, no. Shikishima Tech Lab number six. Sixth level underground. So... This is a Shikishima facility. Current year is... 2104? I've shifted 40 years into the future. An android. Is that what this place is being used for? What the hell? I would just like to note that the ending of DGS was played in my hand for straight up five minutes that I can't find. Oh. It's like my favorite track in DGS. <laughs> it's a really good track. Uh. Oh. No. 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 <laughs> I actually, I actually remember this section did take me a little, did take me a few tries. <laughs> Congratulations, you killed him. Now you need to activate it again. And that's how his story ends. He dies. Uh, no, oh, oh. <laughs> Perfectly balanced. Mm -hmm. This whole thing should be. Oh, oh. Over here. <laughs> there we go. You should stop snooping around. Uh, tell me your uh, leg. Yeah, 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 leg.
Thanks for that. Look at you, that. <laughs> the surface is covered in lethal levels of radiation right now. Go up there and you'll cough up blood until you're dead. Who are you? Well, clearly, I'm just a hopeless busybody. <laughs> I inspected the sentinel that was transmitted underground. How much do you understand about the current situation? I don't know why, but I ended up here somehow. I have no idea what happened. Then allow me to fill you in. <laughs> I have no idea what happened. Me too, buddy. Me too. You, rather, are compromised. You've been infected with code DD426. Code oh no. For... What is that? It's a program that's been implemented into you. Well, into the nano machines in your body, to be specific. Its main function is to sever a portion of the nano machine. The part that's cut is physically connected to the brain. And that region of the brain is where memories are stored. Your brain suffers damage each time a connection is severed. You can lose your memories. Or worse, become a husk. Is that why I've been getting these headaches? I've had them ever since I got here. Why would anyone want to do something like this? Is this irreversible? Can I try deleting the code? That's not possible. Access to your nanomachines is restricted. Once a code or program is implemented, there's no way to delete it. How long... how long do I have before I become a husk? It depends on the intensity of the infection. Or how much time you spend inside the infected sentinel. The longer you're in there, the worse it'll be. Let's assume the infection is moving slowly. To spread to your entire body, it'll take about a month. That's the best case scenario. Worst case would be within a few days. A few days? I may not be able to remove it, but there is a way to delay its effects. Fortunately, I discovered a nanomachine lab here. I found it by analyzing the underground mainframe's data. It is a facility that researches future technologies, after all. I can create a code that'll temporarily stall the effects. You can? First, let's make a deal. What? I need a small favor from you. It's nothing complicated. I just need you to get me out of here. Not anyone can use the shifter. Only those who possess nano machines can use it. I have to ask, what's a young girl like you doing in this place by yourself? Uh, I see. The androids here are wrapped in a human-like skin, just like you. Oh, this? Yeah. It's pretty easy to see the damage on this skin. Well, I guess the cat's out of the bag now. That's right. Okino mentioned something about this. He said some AI stole an android and escaped. Tsukasa Okino, huh? You should ask him about DD-426. No one knows more about it than he does. Is that so? So? How does my offer sound to you? I don't really have a choice. Then it's settled. I'll give you some pills for your headaches right now. Wouldn't want you to forget about our deal. I'll just use this 3D printer over here to my right to make them. <laughs> no, right? I can just magically make pills out of the air, kind of damn, you know? I'll just walk over to the computer and just push the, push the pill button. And... Yeah, I, no. I'm just going to help this android girl escape from this facility. Nothing can go wrong. <laughs> Nothing can go wrong. I think her name is Android 18. Nothing can go wrong. Nothing can go wrong. All right. I think one more event we can get through tonight. Uh, we have a All right. my next moves carefully just an ordinary cop oh I just realized that. Stay near the stage. hey you, you should check your thought bubbles <laughs> a girl with red glasses and Patrick I think you should sit down and have a think
BD-426 is likely the root of my memory loss. But who would create such a thing? And why? Come in. Are you there? in the camp. I think the person on that on that phone is Ida. It's gotta be. Covering my memories. The asshole got it. Yeah. to this person stuff hey 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 no 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 damn it <laughs> oh hey Akun were you waiting for me mm hmm I was hoping you'd show up is everything okay I believe I owe you an apology <sighs> uh, I see Yes, I'm not your... I... lost my memories. Huh? Yesterday, I only pretended to know who you were. What? But there's a reason I wasn't honest. I still don't know who my enemies are. I can trust you, right? Seriously? Of course you can. Then I'm going to need your help. I'm happy to help, but I'm not happy you lied to me. Why didn't you tell me sooner? I'm sorry. I never said anything to you about them, did I? About my memories, I mean. Nope. You tend to pop up out of nowhere when I do see you. And when you do, you never really stick around long. <sighs> Although, the last time I saw you, you had this look in your eyes. Like you really had something to say. Maybe you were planning on telling me then. Do you know a first year by the name of Natsuno Minami? Nachan? Yeah, she was just here. She's the one I was talking to before you showed up. <sighs> Dang it! Bye! <laughs>
Have you ever seen this note before? Hmm. I don't think so. Yuri-chan! Oh, hey, Miwa-chan! Good! Chill out, Miwa-chan! So, are things going well with you two? Oh, well, uh, I'm not sure. I can hear everything I say. <laughs> Behind you! <laughs> Too fast. <laughs> Think everyone is moving too fast. Classic Mila Chan. Well, anyway, just keep at it. Uh, thanks. <laughs> what are you holding, by the way? Oh, this? I'm trying to figure out what these numbers mean. Let's see here. Hmm. Oh, I think I know what these are for. You know what these numbers mean? Please tell me. They're for the telephone message service, I think. It just started last month. Oh, where you can leave messages over the phone? Mm-hmm. My mom uses it. Whenever she works late, she leaves me a message. Uh, why don't I get out of your hair? You got this, Yoi-chan. Wait, Miwa-chan. A message service, huh? Just everybody walking up. Hey, 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 Why does no one ever want to talk? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, <laughs> talk, talk, God. No one wants to talk to me. What? What are you two doing? She's definitely up to something. Uh, with thinking. Miva Ch Miva say nothing together. about them at all. You should go check. You should go over there and check them out. Follow them. Hey, Akun, where are you going? There's something I need to do. I need to go stalk this couple. Hold up. <gasps> Could she be connected to the ones chasing after me? Guess there's only one way to find out. Why is he touching me all the time? Mm. <gasps> this person tried to shoot me. I'm gonna go talk to her. Joe, you really need to put a lock on your door. <laughs> yeah. I don't think he has doors. <laughs> he has moving sifters. Oh. <laughs> Dinner will be served, but it will be you. <laughs> Quick, quickly, call an ambulance for that. <laughs> for me. <laughs> I see. You, you, you think you're clever shooting everyone on your path, huh? <laughs> Who ordered you to shoot me? Tell me everything you know. I. Stop! No, wait! You shouldn't startle me like that. Unless you want to die, that is. Just who do you think you are? You can't barge into someone's house without permission. I remember you. You're the one who shot that robot at Tokisaka Shrine. This is between me and her. Stay out of this, Juro Izumi. Izumi? You've got it all wrong. I'm Juro Kurabe. Whoever you are, get out of my way. <laughs> Damn. He's not dead. I only stunned him. I still want an explanation. Why don't you just ask for yourself? The brains behind the whole thing is sitting on the TV. The TV? Well, I guess we're doing this whole thing now. Okay. Hi. <laughs> no way. You are not a talking cat. <laughs> there might be some trick to So, okay, what what point does this happen? Is this This is got to be when they're having their fight. Uh got to be. I think it'll it'll appear in the timeline. Aren't stupid, unlike humans. Especially you. You tried to ditch your sentinel. You thought you could escape the game. <laughs> okay, this is after he explains the game stick. Okay. Game. 
Are you talking about the fight again? This is probably before like we found out about Kitty. I didn't do that. But it looks like you came around eventually. I'm guessing you learned some new information. New information? Yeah, you know. The unshakable truth. That's why you came crawling back. And begged me to put you back in the game. I did? The gun she aimed at you is a nano machine injector. Anyway, as promised, I'll let you back onto the battlefield. When you say all I could think of was running away, do you mean I was trying to escape from this world? Hmm. Who knows? Then what did you mean by new information? Man, you really don't remember a thing, do you? You can always ask, you know. Maybe the guy behind you knows something. <laughs> Just what the heck do you think you're doing? Miura-kun. Sakigahara? Miura? Uh, did you say... Miura? Another flashback? Well, this is a good one, actually. Oh, a hello again. Updating the data for Sentinel number 17 as well? For all third generation Sentinels, actually. Tomorrow, son. Just know, I don't intend to report what you told me. However,. I suggest you stop poking your nose where it doesn't belong. Afraid I can't do that. Now, I need a favor from you. If anything happens to me, I want you to keep my line open. Uh, fine. Hey, Miura. I saw Tamal Karabe at the Sentinel number 18 lift, too. Who is she? Is she also from the future? She's Sentinel number 18's pilot. But I thought only AI could operate Sentinel number 18. <sighs> I noticed you didn't refer to me by number. You used my real name. Well, you did say you were a human once. So you believe me? Listen, Sekigahara. I have some matters to discuss with you. You got awfully serious. What is it? Let's talk face to face. Raise the lift so no one else can disturb us. That's good. I've got the perfect view of your face from up here. Quite imposing. Anyway, what is it? Remember the conversation about the mainframe? That's the computer in the underground UFO, right? Right. It turns out it was created in the year 2188. That's even further in the future than Ida and the others. I'm positive that's the era they come from. I spent a lot of time analyzing the mainframe's data. That's when I found a massive report on this so-called 2188. I've only managed to decode a portion of it so far. Once I'm done, We'll find out what set this all into motion. Who knows? We might even find a way to save the world. Really? Now, on to the real issue. The data on the mainframe has been quarantined. Someone made it inaccessible. I'm positive Chihiro Morimura was the one who did it. Morimura? If I had to guess, there are some things she didn't want us to find out. I thought she came here to help save this world. It definitely seemed that way, but as it turns out, she has ulterior motives. There has to be a way for you to access it. I've tried everything. It's impossible. So there's nothing we can do? <sighs> I'm going to let you in on something. Something even Tamao-san doesn't know about. There's one more data log. The one I copied to my brain. So you created a backup. And it's stored in the memory of Sentinel number 17? That's right. But if Morimura finds it, I know she'll erase it. You think? She probably isn't the only one who wants it erased. That's why I'm asking for your help. If this Sentinel suffers extensive damage, please 
recover the memory block at all costs. When that time comes, I'll be counting on you. I won't let you down. By the way, what brought you here in the first place? Oh, well, I came to update your system. It won't take long. Sekigahara. Yeah? We're friends, right? <sighs> Miura. Of course we are. Yeah, a lot of Lord Dumb. <laughs> yeah, a lot of Lord Dumb on that one. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Okay, he's got two more events to go on that. Alright. <laughs> So, I think we can probably get done with Remembrance in like two more streams, probably, I would say. Mm -hmm. uh, um, what's your percentage at right now? Uh, the overall percentage, 82% at this point. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see what we, we got left here. The ones we got left, uh, we have, uh, we have, we're finished up A's, then we, uh, do, uh, Hijiyama, then we can do the last one of, uh, Kyoto, and then we uh, do Goto all of one run uh, after that. <laughs> so I think we can get that done in like two streams, I would say. To do that, and then we can finish up battle oh, at yeah. that point. Yeah. Which we can open. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. And then there's uh, four areas uh, for battle, right? Uh,. Uh, hashtag attack by grandma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, attack by grandma. Yep, that that's gotta be our, that's gotta be our one. All right. So let's get that raid up and going. <laughs> El <laughs> hey, reindeer. <laughs> I kind of like that one too. <laughs> I think attacked by grandma, yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's see uh, who we got uh, streaming right now that we can raid. If, if Twitch would... I think Alex Andrew's still streaming. If Twitch would stop moving so slow, oh my gosh. It's, it's going very slow. Okay, Alex Andrew is still streaming. Yeah, we can, we can go right there. <laughs> oh my god, Twitch is like chugging tonight, god. Damn. Go, come on, you can do it, Twitch. <laughs> come on, baby, just a little bit more. Breathe, Twitch, breathe. Alright. Okay, there we go. I, I think I can almost get this raid going at this point. Jeez. Oh my god. Okay, god, that, that took a very long time. Alright. Raid. <laughs> okay, there we go. Alright, so we will see you guys tomorrow night for Fire Emblem at that point, so, uh, yeah. Bye, everyone! Good night! Ciao!